Today we're in Black Duck where we're going to go to an old railroad bridge and film it. You can see it right here from downtown. Is that wood you can see over there? You see that? You can you can see a little bit over here, but well, yeah, that's what we're gonna film today. So uh, um, let's go to the city hall first, and then yeah, this is an old map of Black Duck, and right here they show the old trestle. It is 708 feet, and it has a water tank over here. So, yeah, we're gonna go explore that today. Let's get over to the History Center to look at some old photos of it. Well, it looks like it's closed, so let's head over to the bridge. So now we're on the old railroad. I think that's an old railroad building right there. I'm, well, I'm pretty sure it is. It's on private property now, but yeah, we're gonna walk to the bridge and I believe there's some old stone foundation over here that we're gonna look at, so let's go over there. So this might be the old railroad station, maybe not, but it's some old concrete here. I don't wanna to go too far over here because I'm pretty sure that might also be on private property and I don't wanna get arrested from a video, so that's all we're gonna look at here, but yeah, there's something here. Okay, we're at the bridge. Our friend James met us here. Daniel, look. What? I oh. So yeah, here's the bridge. I'm gonna go to the other side since this is the burnt part, but um, sounds like they might just go right across. Right here's an old railroad tie. We're taking this trail through the swamp to get over to the other side of the bridge. There's a beehive, and yeah. James almost lost his shoe in the creek. There's the bridge, we're almost there. So now we're at the co-op, and there's this old one thing here that I think they used for like loading stuff onto the trains. This piece of concrete is definitely from when the railroad was here. And then you got this piece of wood here, which I think was also used to load up on the trains. Here's the other side. Yeah, there's a memorial here. Somebody did die on this bridge. You can see all black truck here. We'll go down there in a little bit. Okay, we're underneath the bridge now. This is pretty cool. We're trying to get this basketball out of the bridge. Looks like somebody drilled a hole right in this rock. So, some history about this bridge that um, I think is true. This was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 2014, and it was burnt down in 2015, or at least that part way over there. So yeah, it was closed down, and I believe this was built in 1901. So the, that's some history that I believe is true. If I can find some source online that say it's true, I'll put them in the description. So let's get back to the other side of the bridge. So I thought I'd do a little bit more research on the bridge. So first what I did is I um, asked a person who used to work for the railroad what that foundation was. And he said that that was an old water tower. And now we're back at the history center and it's open today. So yeah, we're gonna go research some more. I know that there's some cool photos in here and yeah, um, enjoy the video. Well, this part of the video. According to MNOpedia.org, there was a lot of people that didn't like how the Black Duck Depot was put on where the co-op is now, like around there. So, on November 12th, 1902, they put the depot on the tracks and wheeled it across the bridge. I'm going to show you some old photos of the train tracks here. This looks to be a photo of 
the station. And then this is a, in the background, you can see a bridge of a road going over the tracks. So this is facing like away from the bridge. This is an aerial photo of Black Duck. You can see the ridge right there. Pretty cool. This is the railroad depot in the 1920s, maybe. So this is uh, also facing away from the bridge, I think. As you can see that bridge in the back. Hey guys, that is all I had for this video today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day. Bye.